This is chapter one of the course GT101 Learning and Information Technology. Chapter one is about information technology, the internet, and you. So we have the information system, which is a set of components that receive data, process it, store it, then provide information. This information system consists of several parts, which are people, procedures, software, hardware, data, and the internet. Let's talk about them. First of all, people, which are, are the most important part of the information system because people are the users or the end users of the, of the information system. Without users, there is no need for the information system. Actually, computers touch our life every day, direct and indirect ways. Directly, such as creating documents using word processing programs. Indirect ways, such as using computers in medicine, entertainment, education, and business. The second part of, of information system is the procedures. Procedures are rules or guidelines for people to follow when using software, hardware, and data. They are typically documented and printed or electronic manuals written by computer specialists. Third part of, of information system is the software, which are called programs. They are instructions that tell computer how to do its work. The purpose of software is to convert data into information. Data is unprocessed fact. After processing, data becomes processed fact, which are information. Actually, we have two major kinds of information or software application software and system software applications such as microsoft word documents or word processors system software such as operating systems the next part of information system is the hardware let's define computer which are electronic devices that follow instructions to accept input process it process that input to produce information which is the output actually we have four types of computers the only difference between these types is the performance in other words speed and capacity the memory these types are supercomputers mainframes mid-range and the personal computers supercomputers is special high capacity computers high in memory used by very large corporations such as Google, Yahoo, NASA. They are used to process massive amount of data. The next type is the mainframe computers. Occupy specially wired air conditioned rooms used by insurance companies to process information about millions of policyholders. The next type is the mid-range computers. We call them servers used by the medium-sized companies such as uh, banks, universities. The last type is the personal computers, PCs, which is the most widely used and fastest growing type of computers. We have several types of computers or PCs. We have the desktop, as you can see in the image laptop or notebook, tablets, smartphones, and wearables. So hardware itself is the equipment that process the data to create information and controlled by software. The hardware of PC consists of four, four parts, basically four parts, the system unit, input output devices secondary storage and communication the next part of the information system is data which is raw unprocessed facts that include text numbers images and sound the processed data becomes information digital data is stored electronically in files because computer using binary system zeros and ones 
we have actually four common types of files which are document files worksheet database and presentation document files are created by word processors to save documents such as letters and memos CVs worksheet files created by spreadsheets to analyze things like budgets and to protect sales database files created by database management programs to contain highly structured and organized data such as information stored about students of a university and the presentation files are created by presentation graphics programs to save presentation materials as the one that we are using right now let's talk about connectivity all information systems provide a way to connect to another to another information system so if we have the capability of personal computer to share information with another computer so that capability is called the connectivity and the central concept of connectivity is the network so a network is a communication system that connects two PCs together and the largest network in the world is the internet we have the web which is different than the internet the web provides a multimedia interface to the numerous resources available on the internet and that was the end of chapter 1